So the next one we got, let's do the paperweight. Alrighty. Described as an art deco art paperweight. Deco paperweight. Hold this a second. This one is pretty wild. Looks like this. Lots of little appendages coming off of it. So what is it supposed to be like? Coral? I, you know, I'd have to look. The bottom looks like. And who made this guy? So that was done for Glass Eye Studio by Mark Ekstrand. And how much did you pay for it? $110 I paid for that. Thing. And what do you think you'll get for it? The last one sold on Worth Point. Couldn't even find them on eBay for $325. It's not bad. So it's always a shot in the dark if somebody will pay that again. Yeah, or potentially pay more but since, you know. It's very, very available. hard to see. Like for some reason, Glass High Studios, like you can just barely make out that GES on the bottom. But they're, a, they're a good company. Piece. That's what I feel like we come across the most. And then what else did you win? The next lot was, give me a second. I hate staring down the whole time. Okay. This one was a little bit of money. Where is it? Excuse me. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Next lot was $70. And that was one paperweight and five marbles. Marbles. So here's the first paperweight. Uh, here is they're so smudgy. One. Let me make something here. Let me take well, that. Well, I'm going to just make it smudgy touching it yeah it'll be less smudgy <laughs> there you go see that definitely looks better that one is signed um looks like rolf which would make sense because i had a rolf walled marble from the last sale but they signed that marble walled not rolf yeah well maybe so, there's more room on here than it is yeah on we'll, we'll find out that is unidentified that is <laughs> the fun yet. part of buying glass is unidentified paperweights they're usually not too bad we usually find yeah them. especially if like they have a year on them it's a little easier to like narrow stuff down when you have like a year or something to go by so this one here is like jeff beatum if i'm saying that right that one is signed i had one of them that was easy to identify this Just a tiny, signed. tiny, tiny little scribble on the bottom. I need to paint my nails. In fact, like the guy who owns the auction last time, I was looking at the marbles, and I was looking at them real close. He's like, "Those aren't signed, are they?" I was like, "Yep." He had big bags <laughs> of signed marbles. And he's like, "I just thought that was like a nickel in the bottom." It's like, nope, that was just two initials. <laughs> but here comes the real fun. Yeah, these ones aren't signed. aren't signed. So we're gonna have to try and figure out who made them. I don't like when people don't sign their stuff. And we come across that and with paperweights. And they're so too. nice. So there's no way that, that they're one, not I'm leaning by toward someone. it might be another beat them too. Or I'm probably saying that wrong, but probably cuz it has a lot of the same characteristics with the inner spiral and but I how much do you do with the marble? We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. I still, even though I got a, a small pile of marbles downstairs, I haven't figured it out yet. Also not signed. One also has some really nice swirls. You getting that in there, close? Yeah, I think so. You can see it. Obviously, these are not play with marbles. Yeah, right. This is not a shooter. <laughs> Unless you... This one's my fave. This one like has really nice glittery swirls. Like the swirls, Lots. the swirls are all glittery. Oh, there's a there's a technical term for the swirls. They're not. They're not just called No, it's not the squirrel, it's the, it's the glimmer that's in it. Oh, the glimmer is called Lutz, Eric says. Oh, I love it. That one's my fave. This one here is really well made. Oh yeah, this one's cool too. If you get in there close enough, there's little white pieces that wrap around the flower. Also not signed. That probably won't be too hard to figure out who it is though. I don't think Neat so. Marbles! It can't be so what'd you say you paid for all that? 70 bucks for all of them. And I know that that one that is signed I'll list for about 100 and probably take the first 85 that comes my way. Cool. Cool. And if not, I have a fancy collection of art glass marbles. <laughs> you got a fancy collection of a lot of stuff. <laughs> I should bring up the marbles that are downstairs. Holy man. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. I got one listed for like $700. Okay, what's next? What is next? We need a pause. I need a drink. <laughs> I had Eric bid on this thing. I'm Which was kind of weird. They say it's a vaporizer. I'm think I think 
oh gosh, I was trying to find this and I could only find it on like one website that was in a different country. So it was all in a different language and the only thing I could Google translate was the word scarce. They call it a vaporizer. I'm thinking it's some sort of medical type of device. It's marked, what was it marked, like 1800 19, or 1900? February 8th, 1900. So yeah, it's really, really old, like medical type of device. I, I don't know anything about it. If anyone recognizes it or knows exactly what its use was or anything like that, please let me know in the comments because this was just kind of something I was... I'm not entirely sure about, but I wanted to take a chance on yeah, kind of thing. It's weird. It was at 45 bucks on the online bidding. I bid 50 and nobody bid past that. So and we paid 50 for it. I got it and the lady behind me is like whispering, is that a drug thing? It's like, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely like medical use, I, yeah, I'm that assuming. Is, that's really weird. Um, but yeah, like I, just I don't like know ball. anything about it. I just wanted to take a chance on it. So hopefully it's worth more than 50 bucks. Burn. <laughs> so we got to take chances every now and then. Who's this guy? Is this Warricher? Um, yeah. We won a lot of three of this guy's work. And this is all um, copper enameling. Michael Warricher is his name. He's out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So here's one of his pieces of a tree and like I said this is all copper enameling this one has an original price tag of $135 so it would be wood underneath with copper over top and then enamel very nice piece um you can get little copper nails holding it together mm -hmm. this is another one that needs this clean. one is some more trees and let's see it's um titled forgotten fields oh does he have he has a title on it huh yeah Cool. They're all signed, Price tags are too. all like 125 plus. Yeah. When I looked these up, um, I rarely saw any like come up on eBay, and then the ones that sold um, definitely were selling high. I think this one's my favorite. I like the kind of hammering texture on the front of this one. This one's titled Red Rocks, and she paid originally 125 for this guy. So that whole lot of three, what'd you pay? 50 bucks. That's not bad. That's not that bad. Nope, because I was thinking at least maybe yeah. 70 a piece. Buying maybe. the copper stuff was rough that day because it was Bovano crab that went for like 200, Bovano birds that were going for like 400 and something. So I was kind of surprised that they didn't take off. Yeah. Maybe people yeah, didn't look out on that I well. think that was a good deal, three of those. Okay, this next item is a haul. You guys might recognize, you know, the design on this, the Hall Autumn Leaf. This one is a wall clock. Um, this all part is ceramic. Um, here's what the back looks like. Now, I sold a Hall uh, kitchen clock for, was it 89 or 99? 99. 99. Um, but it was shaped different than this. It was like more square. square. And I saw, someone has this one listed for like, I think $300 right now on eBay, lots of watchers. Um, it has sold that high in the past. I mean, it's not like an insane price to ask for it because the, the yes. kitchen clocks, <laughs> the kitchen clocks are one of the harder yeah. pieces to find in the autumn leaf. Autumn um, leaf's popular. Too. Yeah, people do collect that. So I fit, would you pay for this? I paid 80, which 80. I felt like was a lot. I was thinking of putting 200 on it since, you know, uh, they've sold four as low as that two in the past. But um, just the fact that there, I think there was only one listed. And, you know, like I said, they have theirs at 300, which, you know, all those watchers, but no one's paying the 300. I'm so need some serious cleaning. Yeah. So we'll see if I can at least get that for, for mine. And obviously, we have to test it too and all that. So... Um, yeah, that's probably, that's that's probably, that it works. I don't think that's going to be a problem with that. <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, why don't you get your weird mm. that I, are you? My weird guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was something that, what did I put on your paper to bid on this? I just Capital wrote. Capital N-E-E-D. I just that's wrote That's all need. she wrote. I was gonna keep this because I was thinking it was more like Halloween-y kind of themed, but it's not necessarily. It's more just kind of like robotic, kind of steampunk looking. 
Um, but it's this wooden piece, and he is. He's like a wind-up robot. He's got his little, like, I mean, you can't wind him, but he's just made to look like a wind-up robot. Very cool. Um, the lady originally paid $250 for this. No, this is by it. someone named Mary Moffitt is the name. Now, he's and not perfect. He does have a little crack. Yeah, up there, her stuff sells very, very well. It I mean, doesn't come up very often. Yeah, I mean the fact that this was originally two hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> like that's just crazy. It's a really cool piece, though. I do like him. Had he been a little more on the Halloween side, I probably would have would keep him. But I think I'm, I'll probably list him. But he does have a little bit, like Eric said, on the back here. Just a little bit of like a crack here on his back. Yeah, I don't think I'd so. worry about it too much just because of how few and far in between they mm -hmm. are. So that's just neat. What'd you pay for him? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 dollars. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind and not look. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to. <laughs> okay. So we can get over, I think this stuff was together. Let me find it. This actually came with this stuff. Okay. So this whole next um, few pieces all came on the same tray lot. So this piece here is a nice wooden carved piece. We've sold stuff by this guy before. His name's John Carlton and Yes, I just sold dusty. recently, what was it, a lady hanging, hanging wash. laundry. And that was like 160 150 So this one's a, a smaller one, but it's got a yeah. cat and a bird and a tree. I figured I mean, it was like really 60 nice. bucks to be safe for him. Yeah, so that one I think is a cute one. Um, This little frog, I have a cat listed by this same person, and I don't think I ever figured out who it was, did I? Do we still have the cat? Yeah, it's listed. Hmm. Um, hold on, maybe I do know. Paul's uh, signed BR. I have it listed for $19.99. Well, I didn't really count him in the... So yeah, I have a cat shelf sitter by the same person. I couldn't figure out who who it's made by. Um, it's just signed BR1994. So I have the cat listed for $19.99. No one bought him yet. I mean, he looks just like this, but a cat. Um, it's a little shelf sitter, and this one's a frog, so I'll probably list him for the same as well. Um, I might do auction first just because he's a frog, you know, so someone, more than one person might be interested in him. But um, I'm not sure who BR is, but yeah, very cute, very nice. And even. these are very, like, <laughs> expensive artists type of thing, so it's probably worth way more than the $20 that I'm asking for them. But I don't know who BR is. <laughs> this tag says something, but whew, we'll never be able to read that. It's in pencil. Oh my god! And that thing's like this thing's amazing. Okay, I don't think that's old, but that's made like old. Yeah. That looks like composition, but I don't think it's yeah. It's actually yeah. Like, that that's old, a really though. cool piece, though. Very At worst, cool. he's a few bucks. Like. Yep. So he came in that lot, and then the last thing that was in this lot was this. Um, yeah, that, that picture I don't, frame. I don't understand that. I don't understand the price <laughs> sticker on this. It says one hundred and forty-five dollars. Why? I do think, actually. I have stuff... no clue. I mean, I'll look it up. Maybe it's just maybe it's just really old. I'm pretty sure that was in there too. A little Bobby. Oh, Becker. this is a little Bobby Becker um, piece of art. It's titled "Yellow Tiger Having a Snooze on the Windowsill." So that'll maybe go in our booth because she's a local artist. So, you know, local people like buying her stuff. These next two were either with that or with the vulture and they, These plate. were definitely with these, I Where's think. With that? Yeah. I don't know what's up with those. They're not really. These are some sort of like hanging pottery um, like discs. Who was this? John, how, what was his name? John. Henry is what Henry. I saw, or Harry, or Yeah, Harry. John Henry is what they're signed. 1994, so there was that one. Um, this one. I'm such a texture person, and I cannot stand how these feel. It just gives me the it's just, ick. It's just role play. Like, and then this it one. It gives you the ick. It is does. I don't like touching them. Okay, well, then this one might have been on with the vultures then. 
like that's not signed or anything, so probably just like a little somebody. hanging wooden yeah. some bird, houses. bird houses, not signed or anything. Yeah, that'll probably go in the booth. That's cute, very like primitive. Yeah, country. You get a few bucks for it. And how much did you pay for that lot that we just showed? Aside from the bird houses, because he said they came with the vultures. I that was one of the first ones I bought. Twenty five bucks. Okay, hey, twenty five dollars for that lot. So sorry, that's like a good the deal. Uh, descriptions on this thing are not great. I mean, Art Deco paperweight. <laughs> Art Deco paperweight. <laughs> okay, what's next? What is next? Um, why don't you do your Halloween girls back there? The ones like watch out, all them pumpkins fell off, like because that stuff, most of her stuff is just hot glued together. All right, I'll show the one that's in good condition first. So the whoa, these yeah. are really There's separation on some stuff. Yeah. Hopefully oh, guys... the pumpkins actually go to this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are going to need some work done on them. Who is the name on this? Nancy, Nancy Stam. Stam is who made these little Halloween girls. These are so stinking cute, but they both need some work done. Um, yeah, they might be missing a piece. It's hard yeah, to say. Yeah, so we're going to have to do a little crafting with these, but they're so cool. And her stuff sells, sells well, so it was this Halloween girl as well as this <laughs> one and this one fell, her head fell off yeah and the, this one's headless currently and the little pumpkins are coming off so this is what she looks like she's got these really cute stick legs and like ballerina shoes this is her head but like I said we're gonna have to do some like crafting with her and, and she put her just, back together yeah I mean she was put together kind of just with hot glue and things like that yeah. so it's not the They're really deal. neat. They're, it's just Booty stuff that, you. yeah, just stuff that I like. What'd you pay for these? Well, too? I paid 20 bucks for those and they did come. And it came with something else. With this. Like it that, came what with what this. a matchup that was. Yeah. It's so weird sometimes, <laughs> like the stuff they put together at the auction. This is signed. I have a feeling whoever was bidding was probably bidding on that. Yeah. This is a Nicar Nicaraguan um, vase and it is, it is signed there on the bottom. So we'll have to figure out, um, who made that but that is a nice nice face there so that came with the two two um halloween girls for twenty dollars sit that stuff behind us because we'll be on the last two, two get that. so we actually have this. all right so the next lot all of this stuff eric paid 45 dollars for so the first thing was this um pottery plate this is by brenninger we actually have this same plate for sale in our booth it hasn't sold yet for whatever reason i thought that it did sell so now we have two <laughs> but that's okay um it would i'm sure it'll go at some point so it came with that it came with this piece, which is really cool. Yeah, I really thought this was going to be like it's a one lidded, of the really expensive pieces of redware, but the brand SJ Pottery doesn't sell is that what well. it's marked. So he might be so, forty bucks, I'd say forty to fifty. It's really cool. It does though. have the little birds up on top yeah, of the bird it's bath? So it's like it's really crazy. well done. There's a lot of crazy going on there. A lot of crazy. Um, then there were these two. Um, small wood pieces. Now, typically, I only see the cats. This one is a dog. Uh, I've sold a lot of these small wood still have cats. A lot. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to start sending some offers out on them because I've had them for a little while now. But this one's in a little um, jar that says pickles. Little cat. Oh, that pickles. Okay. Usually they were in little alcohol barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is the little dog. And this was the last piece that was in that lot. This little. I like salt glazed snowman. He doesn't have any maker's marks on him. I just figured him. maybe five bucks. Yeah, he's cute. So it's like an ornament. All right. So how much was that lot? You said. Jeez. Forty-five. Forty-five. Yep, forty-five. Then. Okay. Yeah, you can Why do that. Why this back up here? Oh. Because I was trying to like put some of the stuff away while we waited for the camera to cool down. All right, we got this. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to pick this up? This is a vintage <laughs> Lucite grape lamp. Right. Ooh. Yeah, it depends on how you hold it. 
Because the light bulb yeah, on that yeah. side, so you probably want it yeah. to be the other way. So this one's pretty cool. Um, funny story. You want to tell the story? Uh, well, we know most of the people, like to some varying <laughs> degree, who work at the auctions and whatnot. But the lady came up to me that works there after I bought it, and she asked me how much I'd sell that for. And I was like, I don't know, probably like 70 80 Probably won't be a fast sell, but I thought it was neat. She bought it at a yard sale for a dollar. One dollar. the auction. <laughs> One dollar at a yard sale. Would have loved to roll up on that yard hey, sale. Hey, well, <laughs> if I sell it for what I want to, we're going to make about the same she did. So So what did you um, pay for it? I did pay $30 for that. $30. And we're going to list it for around... Uh, I think you had 70 80 70, 79 80. I think is what you Yeah, I think it was seventy nine ninety nine because you guys know about my, my, my 99 Sometimes when she writes like seventy nine <laughs> ninety nine, I just take it as 70 just in case. <laughs> But that was like at 70, that was cutting that kind of cool, close. That's a cool piece, though. Then I did buy, you want to grab the two decoys? Usable decoy. Has like the tug ring on it and everything. All right. There were a bunch a of duck decoys at the auction. Um, Eric only won one lot of them. Um, but these are by, who is it? S. Pierce. Who? What's his first name? Sullivan. Sullivan Pierce. So this one is signed. And it's a, I mean, it's a really nice decor. What were the lots typically going for? Uh, anywhere from 50. There was like a couple that went for 70. I didn't, there's not a lot that was sold by this guy. I think I found one and it only sold for 40, but I don't know if they didn't price appropriately. And I really didn't want to invest a couple hundred dollars into winning all the decoys. So we, we've done... Just in case they ain't worth a whole lot. Yeah, we've done really well with duck decoys. The thing is with, like, decoys, um, if you're listing them on eBay, I mean, it's fine to, but your your listing isn't going to show up right yeah. away. It goes just through, a like, a process, um, you know, I guess just so, like, you're not selling, like, a real animal or something. I really don't know, like, eBay's whole process, but if you sell a decoy... Don't get like antsy if it doesn't show up in your search right away. It does take a couple hours. So that one's just for decor. I don't know if they got it on camera, but that one actually mm -hmm. has like the pull ring and a weight. So you can actually put this one in water and pull it across. Yep. Yeah. So what did you pay for this lot of two? 45 for those two. Okay. So we're, we, he took a chance on No, like, if they sell for a good lot. bit, I'll be upset with myself. Right. But if they don't, I didn't really go too crazy. crazy and yeah, take... Yeah, because, like, there were so many lots Oh, it would have been decoys. probably 40 of them, something like that. Yeah, we would have been drowning in decoys had you purchased all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then if they were only worth 40 bucks a piece. Yeah, like, uh -oh. not, not too uh -oh. good. I think you're on the last lot, which the would be that. Lot. And okay. that was $10 for those two pieces. I think that's it. I think we're at the end. So $10 for these two pieces. The first one, oh, this is so stinking cute. There's nothing like riding my bike with the wind in my hair. Oh look, more stores. <laughs> That's really cute. This is like a porcelain yeah, ceramic. It's opalescent porcelain. Life with Lulu and Mew by Cher is the artist's name there on the back. It's got a little rhinestone on yeah, it too. Yeah, that's cute. Hold that for a second. So these were pretty, these were essentially five dollars a piece yep. for these pictures, and then this one's a P. Buckley moss, still in some plastic here. Um, this one's titled Emily. Um, this one is a reproduction, but uh, we'll probably stick this in the booth. I'm probably, so. I'm probably actually gonna stick this one in too because they will yeah. sell for a lot online, and they're gonna be kind of pricey to ship with it being so ten dollars for that lot, plate. five dollars a piece, and that's. Pretty Pretty much. Yeah, I think, I think that's everything much it. for until like Eric goes into a truck and finds like another box. I left box. something sit there. No, there's no whole box. Okay, so that's everything then for this haul. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We should do this more often, like when we win. I have a whole slew stuff. of little junks and then paperweights sitting over here. We that could we do did a not. Video. We could do another one. I'm probably going to go. You guys want to see a box, not in this video, but in another video, a box of glass um, paperweights and glass, um, what is it, like glass animal figures. Just, it's a whole bunch of like. Well, there's art just, glass there's little random pieces. stuff too. Angels. Yeah, we can go Christmas through that. angels. We, we can do another video. We probably will at some point. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we will see you next time.